I was recently asked by a GP user about how they could process their pay runs individually for different pay types so that deductions would be set up differently. I'm going to show you how to do that today and we handle that while we're doing the build check process. First let's take a look at an employee. Now today I'm using Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 and you can see from my navigation pane I am in the HR and payroll series and this would work the same even if you do not use HR. Alright so I'm going to look at cards first and just to make it easier let's use this maximize mode that is new to GP 2013. So we see in our payroll cards let's go to pay codes first and we're going to be looking at Adam Barr today and if we toggle through Adam Barr's pay codes you'll see he's set up for bonus pay which is set up as a monthly pay and you'll also see he is an hourly employee and that is set up to be paid semi-monthly and those are some very important things that can help out the process. Now I'm also going to go into deductions and pull up our good friend again Adam Barr and we'll toggle through his deductions. He has a 401k which is to be taken out semi-monthly and he has a medical which is also to be taken out semi-monthly. Now he also has some benefits set up and we'll just assume that they're set up as semi-monthly as well. Let's go take a look at transactions. So I'll just drag and drop my transaction area onto uh, my uh, primary viewing page and I can see under transactions and payroll I can see my transaction entry. So I'm going to pull this up and I have two batches out here already. So first I have a batch that has his hourly pay set up and you can see I just have him set uh, with a semi-monthly rate of 86.67 hours and I also have a bonus batch and I could, am giving him uh, a $500 bonus for his um, previous month work. Now you do not have to have separate pay cycles if you do not want. Just put things in different batches. That will still uh, work exactly the same. So I've got my transaction set up so let's go to build check files. First let's pay him his regular hourly pay. So I have pre-saved a default ID for my check run called semi-monthly and this is where you can determine not only what you want to pay and who you want to pay but also what deductions and what benefits you want to use for this pay run and this is how you would distinguish the difference between the two. So in this semi pay run and we're just going to do it for Adam Barr here so I've keyed that in I've included only semi annual pay codes and if I look in deductions I've told it to include all deductions include all benefits and so now I'll go in and select my batch where I've keyed in his hours. So let's build our check run. And the first report to pop up is our deduction and arrears report. So let's close that out. And then we have our build check file. And you can see I have a warning that there's no overtime pay record for this employee, that it doesn't exist, but that should be okay because I do not think we are hitting in um, overtime zone so that's fine. So now let's go in and calculate our check run. Remember you can calculate checks when you have a warning but not when you have an error. So if I pull this up you can see it is indeed just calculating just his hourly pay here nothing else. And then I can actually go through the process of printing his check. I do not want an alignment form so let's choose checks And here's his check where I'm just paying him his hourly work. We'll click on process and we'll just cancel these out. Okay, so now let's do the pay run for the bonus. So I'm going to go in to do a build checks and I have set up another pay run here called daily and this is just a daily run, uh, check run for bonuses so it's whenever we do a bonus run so I'm going to put in the date range for which the bonus is to be paid. Again I've selected just Adam Barr. I've got my pay periods to include just monthly and I do not have salary marked because they're just bonuses. Now this time on my, my, on my deduction selection I have none selected so no deductions will be uh, taken out of the check 
no benefits will be calculated, but I do want to go in and select my bonus run. And now I'll build my check file. And this time you can see I just have the bonus run and I have no deductions, only taxes coming out. So let's go do a calculate check. And that's how you could distinguish which deductions you want to take for a pay run and which benefits. You do not associate the deductions and benefits to an individual pay code. Instead, you can associate them to a particular pay run. And we can just save these parameters in our build check file so that we don't have to remember to do them each time. I have some clients that pay biweekly, for example, every two weeks. And they have some deductions that they take out twice a month. So they have a regular we, uh, bi-weekly um, build check file set up, but they also have one called third week. So on those, what does it happen? I think th uh, twice a year, four times a year, there are three pay runs in a period. And so on those pay runs, they don't take out the deductions or, any of the ben or do any of the benefits. So the employee gets a little bit more in their check run on that third uh, pay run in a month. That's a great way to take advantage of using this, and as always, I hope this helps. Thanks.